it's really cool because like when you're riding a horse, it can like help like people like me, like with spina bifida. It makes you feel confident and it's awesome. <laughs> To know Emma is just to know happiness. She is the happiest little girl, even though she has diagnoses that will permanently affect her life. I love Pegasus because like you connect with people, you like make friends and it's awesome. Watching her progress through this program has been just absolutely amazing. Pegasus Therapeutic Riding Academy is a equine assisted activities and therapies facility in which we adapt horseback riding and other horse related activities for individuals with disabilities, diagnoses, and those in at risk populations. We are located really in the heart of Northeast Philadelphia. We are right off of the boulevard. We are part of Fairmount Park system. And when you drive by, you don't expect there to be 15 horses happily coexisting in the city. Our facility houses 15 horses in our main barn, and then we have an attached indoor arena for lessons as well. And then we have multiple turnout areas for the horses to be able to go outside to stretch their legs during the day when they're not working. And then we are also very fortunate to have an outdoor riding arena as well, so that during the spring and summer months, our riders can go outside and take in the fresh air all while still participating in their normal weekly lessons. A lot of our riders have experienced for a majority of their life being told what they can't do. And our goal and our focus is what they can do and how we can adapt it and how we can be there to make it safe and for them to have an experience that enhances their day.
I love horses. My daughter rides horses, uh, and it was really wonderful to connect with those animals and actually even stand there with our instruments. Because they're therapy horses, they are very sweet, but like huge creatures. They liked the tuba because it was like a mirror, so they, they got to look in the mirror, but they did not like it when I played for them. So I will refrain from doing that in the future. Most horses are not designed to live in the city. Having horses that are of sound mind enough to take all of that and turn off the city behind them has always been a unique struggle, but they're really good at it. <laughs> Most of them have a two month trial period when they come here, and I have a long laundry list of tests they have to pass. We have to know what their response is to stress and overload, which is the same thing if you're working with people. When we do the initial evaluation for the new riders, we always take consideration of each one's personality. We don't just say, oh, this person's joining, we're gonna put them on this horse. It's more like, okay, what, what does this person need? And then what, can, what horse do we have that can provide that need? So much of horses' movement is about cadence and rhythm. They it's drilled into them from when they're first ridden to have cadence and to have a balanced rhythm when they move and when they do things. So when you add music to it, it's almost natural for them. Our program allows individuals who rely on people and assistance so much in their lives to have a level of freedom that they don't get in the rest of their week. Well, my grandson's autistic and uh, horseback riding was uh, a good option and he's uh, taken to it rather well. I like riding on the horse and Rafino, he's my horse. I think he himself can see the improvement he's had and it gives him a lot of confidence. Brendan has gone to really high level horse shows. PA National Horse Show is a horse show that people come from all over the country to compete at. And this, this past year he got a blue ribbon. So watching him work so hard has always been so rewarding. Breathing, shoulders back. Equine therapy is something that differs drastically from regular therapies. I've seen a lot of participants do a lot of first here, and it does blow your mind. There's kids that their parents have never heard them talk before, and they're sitting on their horse, and they say the word horse, they say the word walk, they say hi, and I think people can really benefit from that. The repetitive motion of the horse's walk, that one, two, three, four beat over and over, actually calms hyperactive brains. So just simply sitting there for a rider that's hyperactive, it calms their nervous system and allows them to process better than in their typical daily lives. So things like following directions and language becomes a lot easier for them to process than if they were sitting in a classroom. 
Watching these volunteers do what they do, they give their time, hours upon hours, in the freezing cold, in the hottest heat of summer. They are here. We need 12 volunteers to make lessons run. We have a body of about 80 volunteers at this point, and they all come from different backgrounds and different levels of horse skills. We're a small nonprofit, and our facility runs only 45% off of what we charge our clients. So making up the other 55% of our budget with contributions and gifts, fundraising and grants is always a challenge. And especially with the cost of horses, it's only going up. It's never gonna get cheaper to care for them. Oh, okay. I know. You don't like all these people. <laughs> I'm going to hide. Okay. okay. Bye, Lynn. <laughs>